Hello everybody, I got a praise report. I thought I might be going inpatient because I've had some mental health problems before, but it turns out they just upped my medicine. Anyway, let's get uh, to our Bible verse of the day, which is, Jerome, please, it is, wait, I must have got, I must have got out of it, hold on. History, I had it, hold on. Sorry about this. But this is a wise uh, podcast. Y'all get to see some of the little mistakes I make. Anyway, so today's daily Bible verse is First Thessalonians one ten, and to wait for the son, for his son, from heaven. He raised from the dead. Jesus Christ rescued us from the coming wrath. Well, now, what does that mean? That means that Jesus went to pay the ultimate price for us. And I believe that uh, in the end times, it's going to come like a thief in the night. And uh, so let me highlight all of it. This is the New International Version. But uh, yeah, so it says that Jesus will come like a thief in the night and rescue us in the end times. Has that happened yet? Well, I don't think it is, but maybe uh, maybe it has in some weird way. Yeah, so uh, and what does it mean by he, his sin? To wait for the Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead. What does he talk about whenever he says he raised from the dead? Well, it's talking about what happened at the cross. Whenever Jesus Christ went up on the cross for our sins. For those of you who don't know, Jesus Christ went on the cross for our sins to pay for them with his blood. And, uh, yes, and I believe that that is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That he, that he, uh, he might not, uh, you know, literally go back on the cross, but physically, I believe he does, because he has to pay that. He paid that price. And what do I mean by that? I mean that sometimes it feels like to him, he might feel like he's going back on the cross because he's paid the price for our sins, and he loves us. The Bible says he wishes none shall perish, but uh, but every one of us shall get to know God. Now, what does it mean by perish? It means to die and go to hell. And, um, yeah, so he doesn't wish for any of us to go to hell, but all of us to get to know him. But he's leaving out. He, uh, he, he believes that we shouldn't be robots. We shouldn't be programmed to love him. We should love him because, well, that's how we feel. That's how we, uh, want, that's what we want, to get to know God. And, uh, yeah, so we should want to get to know God. We should want it. Now, listen, the Bible said, the Bible did not say, for none have sinned. The Bible didn't say, uh, the Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All of us, that includes me and you. But because Jesus paid the price on the cross, we have a way of forgiveness. And listen, if you are going through something tough right now, and if you feel like, you know, what's the point of life? Well, to me, the point of life is to praise and worship God to the best of our ability. And, uh, you know, some of us have made mistakes. Some of us have seen, well, we all made mistakes. Let me put it like that. We all made mistakes. So I'm about to say a prayer, but this prayer doesn't just apply to somebody that just sinned or somebody that sinned. Uh, 10 years ago, it applies to all of us. Okay, so let's say the prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you continue to use God's house to reach people in your name, Father. And I also pray that you heal the broken, the, the brokenhearted, the wicked, the sinful. Father, you said that we all are sinful. Basically, you said for all of us have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That's what you said. For all have sinned. And we all need your prayers, Father. And we all need your help, Father. We all need it. We all need somebody to pay for it, us. Because let's face facts. A lot of us right now are about to do the unthinkable. A lot of us right now are going through some things that others are like, Wow, are you actually going through that? A lot of us are hiding our true feelings. Whenever you're saying, come to me. Worship me. Study my holy word. Yeah.
and praise me. Father, I know that you love music. Father, Lucifer was a head, a, the head of your uh, musical choir, if I remember right. I could be wrong, but I, that's how I remember it. And I pray this, that you heal all of us, Father. Father, we all need it. Father, I don't know what the viewers are going through, and they don't know what I'm going through other than what I tell them. But, uh, yeah, and I'd like to say, I'd like to thank you for me just being able to see my family and not going impatient. And, uh, yeah, so in your precious holy name, amen. Now, uh, let's say that you have to uh, go impatient, which we all need a little break from reality every now and then. And to me, that can be that little break. Because we all need to take some time out of our day and just relax. That's how I feel. Not to dwell on the sin. Just to have a good time. And I, I'm not saying to go out and get drunk. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that we need, like, to me, my alone time is me watching Star Trek. Or me, uh, which I don't, uh, let, me, let me make one thing perfectly clear. I do not uh, support the evolution, so I do not support uh, some areas of Star Trek that support evolution, because th there actually are some episodes that support evolution. Yeah. And I pray that uh, God just continues to use me to reach people in His name. I hope that He forgives me for all my sin. Because let me tell you something, folks. I have sinned against God. And I probably will do it again. Unless I die, like, you know, right after this. Hey, I might sin against God doing this. I might have misquoted scripture. And the Bible says, uh, the Bible is strict on that. He doesn't want us to misquote scripture. He wants us to really study scripture. To get to understand it. Because sometimes uh, there might be some Bible verses that, uh, so let me close this. By the way, this mic is picking up the sound, not my headset. But yeah, so uh, sometimes God's like, you know, uh, why should I help you whenever you continue to sin against me? I mean, you sin and then I, you ask for forgiveness and then you sin it again. And to me, coming back to, uh, God, after we sin again, it can be tough. It can be hard. It can be challenging. But let me tell you something. God is a loving God. He loves you so much, He sent His only begotten Son on the cross for you. He loves you that much. God's a loving God. And uh, I would like to also thank God. I got plenty of sleep last night. I woke up a little early-ish. Woke up at about 4, but I went to bed about, uh, let's see, 9.30, 10 o'clock, something like that. So that might not seem like a lot of hours, but for me that is. And you see, it's the small things that make a huge difference. It's telling God, thank you for this, that, or the other. It's telling God uh, that you love him. It's telling God that you want to uh, be there with him in heaven. But listen, the Bible says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the Lord God, all of us. Yes, that includes me. All of us have sinned and fallen short of the Lord God. What do we do about it? Well, we study God's Word. We study uh, His Bible. We uh, do some uh, studies of how the, uh, how the books of the Bible came to be. Because let me tell you something, that can be interesting, how the books of the Bible came to be. And we want to make sure that, because uh, it's okay to, uh, like we want to get the background behind the scripture. Like, why did God put this here? What was the purpose? Sometimes the purpose isn't for our salvation, but it's for our neighbors. It's for our friends. It's for our family members. It's for uh, all of that. And Jesus... He's going to rescue us from, uh, as Christian. If you are a Christian, 
And I believe that Jesus is going to rescue us from the final days. And we won't have to suffer that much. I mean, we'll still have to suffer. It just won't be that much. And what do I mean by that? I mean, the Bible says that Jesus will come like a thief in the night to rescue us. Well, it doesn't, really, it doesn't say rescue us, but it will say it comes like a thief in the night. But to, uh, and then, uh, and then to, then, uh, you know, he rescues us in the final days. Or, well, if, I don't know, it's kind of up into a topic, <coughs> up into interpretation there. Yeah. But listen, if you want to be saved, you know, I pray that you continue to follow God, and that you continue to study His Word, and that you continue to follow His Word to the letter. Because God loves you. He sent His only begotten Son on the cross for you. He loves you that much. And, uh, yeah, for those of you who are new, uh, I'm going to start doing, uh, I don't know when, but I'm going to start doing uh, video game reviews again. Because I kind of stopped for a while. Uh, yeah, because I've kind of finished the game and I'm not sure where I'm going to go on from there. Might do another one, I don't know. Might do another game. Might do like, uh, uh, like my first time playing it, uh, uh, and just to like talk about my first time playing the game. Like, I might play games and I might talk about it my first, whenever I first play it. But uh, anyway, uh, for those of you who are new, we do a biblical podcast. Uh, I know I stopped doing this, but I want to start doing this again, a prayer request of the day. And we still do, uh, we still do, uh, the, t the uh, every Tuesday. We either do a movie review or we do a, a Touch by an Angel review. And the movie has to be a godly movie. It can't be none, uh, you know, as sinful. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking for a new game to play. Let me know in the comments if y'all have any ideas. I'm thinking about uh, playing uh, Tame.io. Which I know, you know, I'm a Christianer, so they're going to make fun of me. But, uh, yeah. I, I would also like to play Among Us. But I know that, I know that those two are not really Christian games. And there was a third one I was looking at. I don't remember the name of it. But it was a strategy game. It was a, uh, remake. And hopefully I can play that. I don't know. I got a new Mac and sometimes the older games don't always work with the new Mac. But it was a remake, so it's not uh, that old. It's called, uh, I think it's called Hearts of Iron. Or it might be, no, it's something else. That's a, I'm getting mixed up with another game. I'm, my bad. But uh, anyway, uh. I would just like to thank God for everything that He's done in my life. And if today is my final day, well, I pray that uh, God, uh, you know, continues to use this video to reach people in His name, even in my absence. This is still on YouTube, so more pe so people can still be reached. And I pray that God would take care of uh, my little brother and my family. Cause my little brother, he's going through so much right now. He's just going through so much. You see, uh, he's adopted. And his mama is a pill or was a pill head. I don't know if she still is. And his dad committed suicide whenever he was young. So he's just going through so much. We've had him for a few years now. But it's just so hard on him. Especially with school. And I know that he doesn't like me talking about it, so I won't talk about it. But he's just going through so much. And I pray that God just blesses him. 
because he's been a blessing to me. I mean, we don't always get along, but he's just been such a blessing to me. And I also pray that uh, if something were to happen to me, God would take care of uh, my mom and dad, because they've been a blessing to me too. And sometimes I've been a blessing to them. And notice I said sometimes, because we, yes, we have gone into arguments before. And we have gone into disagreements, and I have messed up on some things. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so, um, uh, also I apologize if these videos start coming out a little bit later than normal. I, uh, skipped a few, I skipped a, a, a day of recording because I had to go see the doctor and I wasn't feeling well. My threats was after. Now for those of you who don't know, I have random muscle movements. And sometimes they can get pretty violent. And like uh, one time, I, uh, me and my dad was sitting at the table, and I flipped him over. And God didn't break the chair or anything, though. But uh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is what to happen to me. I pray that God's house will continue to be used to reach people. I know that I'm the only one that posts the updates now, but I pray that, uh, that these updates stay on the internet, even through the end times, that way people can be reached. Yeah. Let me see the timer. Should be at. Uh, 17 minutes, that's not too bad, uh, yeah, so, uh, normally these videos go on for about 30 minutes, and normally, uh, I'm thinking about putting a TV back, that way I can, uh, look at the timer without going through this, but I really, I don't have much room for another TV. Like, uh, for those of you who don't know, my mom and dad's TV got broken, and I had a spare one, so I gave them that one. I had one. It was used for, primarily for, uh, make, whenever I made videos. And plus, I just think it's cool to have two TVs with up to the computer. I mean, there's something about it that ju I just think it's cool. But it was, it's not an expensive TV. It's an old one. Uh, anyway, let's have to talk about the TV and so I can talk about God. So yeah, so uh, I pray that God continues to use me to reach people in His name. And this is my final day. Well, I hope. Well, I hope I go to heaven. But as for the, as if y'all know me, y'all know one thing: I'm a Christian. And uh, I want to continue to use God's word. I want to continue to spread God's word to the, to the ends of the earth. I want to do it. Now, I know that some countries have uh, YouTube blocked, and some countries have different other sites blocked. Well, guess what? God's House is a multi-site uh, organization, which means that we got Facebook, we got Twitter, we got uh, YouTube, we got uh, TikTok, and maybe one or two other ones that I can't think of right now. We used to have God too, but God too, we had some trouble with that. And plus we had trouble with the internet and we had to cut some things out. Plus it didn't really make much sense because I was doing a prayer request video of the day. And I was doing thoughts of the day, which thoughts of the day were to pray for some people. So it really didn't make much sense. But uh, yeah, and uh, for those of you who are wondering where am I sent on Ukraine, I pray that uh, that the people that are fighting for their country, that uh, if they die, they go to heaven. Because there's no, uh, you know, to fight for your country, man, that hates guts. I mean, a bunch of us Americans wouldn't fight for our own country. And yeah, here we have a smaller country, Ukraine, and they're having a ton of support. 
and a ton of people that are willing to give their lives for their country. And to me, that's one of the greatest calling to give your life for your country. Even, uh, even if the, uh, even despite the odds that Ukraine right now is going up against one of the world's biggest militaries. I mean, that's just, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, it is interesting, but it's also sad because of everything that's going on lately. It's also sad. Let's see, let me adjust this. I'm adjusting my mic. Oh, y'all can hear me better? Yeah, so, um, uh, and for those of you who don't know, um, God's House, it started a long time ago with a goal to, re to preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, and that's what we're still doing today. It started, uh, let's see, what year did it start? I want to say 2000, Let's see, I don't think it's, I think it's 2008 or 9, something like that, and we're still doing it, folks, we're still doing it. I started, uh, well, uh, one of the, one of the things I used to do is film for my church and put that on YouTube, but I had to stop that, and, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, and I pray that God just continues to bless me. Because we all need blessings. Especially with me with my violent threats. Like when I told you about the time I knocked my father over. Uh, also, I was, uh, had, uh, my father and somebody else down on the ground. They were trying to hold me still. Cause it got to it got to the point where I had to go in the in the hospital, and uh, I know that's uh, some of my doctor. One of my doctors thinks that there's more to it, but we don't know. And I've had uh, like a lot of doctors look at me and be like, you know, what is this? But uh. Yeah, and listen, if it's not correct, so I pray that I can still bless people. I pray that this doesn't, it might slow me down, but it doesn't completely stop me from doing videos. Because I love doing videos. There's something about it. I don't know what it is, but I like doing it. I don't know what it is. And I know that, you know, most people are not getting reached by this, but I just like doing it. And like a therapist told me that, uh, just because somebody watches them doesn't mean I shouldn't do them. Because it's not for their enjoyment, it's for mine. I'm paraphrasing a little bit because I don't halfway remember the story. It's just another thing I need to work on my memory. But, uh, yeah. I, I, and I slept good last night. I haven't been, uh, getting much sleep except for, uh, last night. Yeah, I feel uh, I feel like I feel like a different person. That might be the medicine, though. I think that's the medicine. Also, uh, please keep my daddy in your prayers. He had a friend, that, an old friend that recently passed away. And please keep that family in your prayers too. I'm not gonna say the names because I don't. Uh, a, they didn't tell me to do it. And B, I don't know the names. I don't know the name of the fam the family name. Like some people call themselves the Myers, some people call themselves the Manuals, some people call themselves something else random. But I don't really I don't know the family and I didn't ask for the gift, and I didn't ask them for that, so I'm not gonna say their names. But if y'all know me, well if y'all know my dad, y'all might be able to tell who it is. And there's just so much death and destruction going around. We need to keep each other in our prayers, people. We need it. 
And when you just say, hey, uh, can I pray for you? Or, hey, you know, I prayed for you last night. Because to me, uh, just hearing somebody say that means that they care for me. And if they actually did it, then that means that they're not liars either. But, uh, yeah. Also, uh, my finances are looking a little better, finally. And I'm thinking about getting a, a, another, uh, another SSD, an external SSD. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically, its ancestor is the hard drive. So yeah, that, that just tells you what it does. It stores information. And the reason why I want to get another one is because this one's running out of space. And, uh, yeah. I think I could afford it, but I don't know. I don't know if I should get it. Please pray for me and keep me in your prayers about that. That if I should get it, that God uh, somehow shows me or tells me. But I believe that uh, that he uh, wants me to do it. I might do it after this video. I might order me another one. But this one's going to have a lot more storage than the other one. And it should take a lot longer. It should take about uh, twice as long, which it took it took about two or three months. Uh, well, I'm gonna say about three months for me to uh, almost fill up this one. Like right now, I'm at about uh, sixty-five to sixty percent. I'm fifty-five to sixty percent of storage because I'm not looking at it right now. I'll tell you, what, let me. Let me show y'all, cause I want I want y'all to know where the money is going to God's house. Yeah, we're at about not this one, this one. Yeah, y'all can see. Uh, we have uh, five hundred and seven gigabytes, and we have two hundred forty-seven point thirty-two free. So I, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's filling up fast. And if I start doing video game videos again, it's gonna be even faster. Because the video game videos are about 60 minutes long. Because, uh, you know. And, oh, and let me also show y'all uh, my uh, Steam page if y'all want to play with me. Let's see, come on, load. Yeah, connecting. Okay, sorry about this. This isn't planned ahead. My thing is him. Okay, come on, why is it taking so It's because I'm recording at the same time, I guess. Yeah, so uh, I just pray that God continues to bless God's house and continues to use us to serve Him. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Why is it? What's this? I don't know, sometimes Steam acts up. Anyway, my Steam username is him2100. Sometimes Steam acts up. You know, with the updates and stuff like that. And then we go back. Okay, yeah, this is... M twenty one hundred. Yeah, that's my Steam. These are the games I played. I might uh might do this again. I don't know, that was kinda of fun. But uh yeah I do Sid Myers and I do Solaris. And as y'all can see I really haven't been uh winning like any trophies or anything. Fifty eight games. Yeah, so, uh, let me show you all the games I wanted to do. Uh, what was the game I wanted to do? Uh, let me see, maybe I'll show up down here. By the way, I do not support any of these games. It was Sonic Mania, I might, I might want to do that, I might do that. Let me see, if that, can I do that on my Mac? I'm not buying the whole Sonic collection. 
Uh, no, I can't do that on my Mac. I wish they had more games I could do on my Mac, but uh, the 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 best place for games on the Mac is uh, uh is actually the App Store, which is uh right here. Yeah. So uh. Um, see, I, I'm trying to remember. They got a name of a game. I think it's called Iron Hearts or something. Let me see. I or. I think it's called this. Let's see. I might get this. I I was thinking about uh, some other strategy games I might get. Might get this. I don't know. Y'all uh probably gonna see this. Y'all probably gonna find out after this. Uh, or in a, in a few days. Cause I have the money. It's just I need the money for uh storage. I have the money though, but I need it for storage. I I, I tell you, I might just buy. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all on my buy. I'm gonna show y'all. Let's see. Uh, they had uh, two things I was looking at, but one of them has like a whole bunch more storage. Yes, I was looking at these two. Maybe the price went up a little bit, I see. Yeah, and uh, this one right here, I know the. Uh, I bought some stuff from them before, so I know them. But this one right here, Samsung, you know, it's class. You, you know, it's a uh, well-known company. And, uh, yeah, I used to do 3D printer stuff, but I haven't been... Well, I used to... I tried to do a 3D printer, but that didn't work out too well. But, uh, anyway. So, uh... Yeah, I just pray that God continues to bless y'all. And continues to bless God's house with just knowledge and power and strength. I might go with this one. I don't know. I don't really have the money for this one right here. But that, this. That's one terabyte. That, that, this one's one terabyte. And then what's this one? Two terabytes. Yeah, that's the one. That's why the price is so different. I go with this one though. I don't know. But uh, yeah, just keep me in your prayers. I continue to use my money wisely. For those of you who are wondering, this isn't this is the money I save up for God's house. Most of it, if it, but uh, but that's my own personal money. This isn't like uh, we do have Patreon, but Patreon never really. Gave us anything? Let me go to our Patreon. Or tell you the links in the description. But uh, yeah, just I hope that God just blesses me, and I pray that God uh, shows His love for me. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one though, cause th this one right here is a little too pricey for me. I'm gonna go with this one. Plus it has like double the storage that I already have. This is the one I was talking about. This one would have, uh, let's see, two terabytes. I have five terabytes. Four times the storage. But I wanted it to last too, so I don't know. Just keep me in your prayers for that, and I'll go with whatever uh I feel like to go with. Now, I could be wrong, though. I c don't get me wrong. I could make a mistake. So, please keep me in your prayers. Perhaps God's saying, you know, you should stop doing video games for a little while and start focusing on just that. Because video games, uh, there was a video I watched a while back that said that, you know, most uh, video games, and when they were talking about video games, it talked about like normally double A or triple A video game, sorry. And uh it talked about like how sinful they are. 
And I'm not saying that all AA or AAA games are sinful. But what I am saying is that uh, it can be. And uh, I'm sorry, I've been going all over the place. Anyway, let's get back to the Bible verse. Yeah, so Jesus, he uh, wants us to know him, to get to know him. And how do we get to know him? We study our Bible and we worship him. And how do other people get to know him? They get to see it through our actions. Sometimes. Sometimes God uses other means to get Christians, like maybe a miracle or two. But, uh, yeah. And please keep me in your prayers. Just please keep me in your prayers. Because really, I'm not sure what am I going to do about the storage situation. Because I'm running out, and I want to keep my uh videos that way, uh, if a YouTube were to ever go down, or if uh, whatever else I was able to uh, ever went down, I would still have uh that. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of I I don't really know what to do with God's house money right now. I mean, I don't know if I should buy a game. And when they say God's house money, that's money that I personally put aside for God's house. And I know that, you know, all of the money is God's. It's just, this is the money I put aside specifically for God's house. And I am aware that, you know, I will sin and I will buy things I shouldn't buy. I, I'm not saying I buy beer, but what I do is I buy root beer and I buy me some snacks. And maybe God's saying no more of that. Because uh, some of that stuff's not healthy for me. And I know that uh, God says uh, that goes into what's clean and unclean. And God says, basically, if he made it, why would it be unclean? If he made it, why would it be unclean? Uh, and I'm, I just want to, I just like uh, to talk about the gospel. And to really get to, the, uh, to really get to know God. I want to know God. I want to know him like um, like I know my father, my heavenly, my uh, godly father. I want to know him. And that's why I study the Bible. And now me, I don't do much every day. All I do is one Bible verse a day. But really, I think that that might be uh, good for right now. But later on, I might want to study the actual Bible. And what do I mean by studying the actual Bible? I mean that taking my Bible out and studying it. I'm sorry, it's early in the morning, but I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. And uh, also, please keep me your prayers in my dream. I dreamed that I broke a TV, so I pray that that doesn't happen. Yeah, but maybe, uh, maybe God wants, you know, sometimes... Uh, things have to get broken for us to really realize how much it means to us. Like sometimes we have to lose somebody to realize, you know, such and such was really a nice person. Maybe I should have treated them better. Maybe I should have done this better. Maybe I should have done that better. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But listen, don't wait till the last minute to um uh, to realize that you love somebody. Tell them that you love them while they're still here on earth. I know that we can have our arguments, we can have our disagreements, we can have our fights, we can have our little tantrums. But listen, we need to come together sometimes and uh, be like, I really love you. Because sometimes it, it's a good idea to take a step back and really analyze the situation before we make an, a nasty comment. Because let's face facts, not everybody understands us. Not everybody will understand this, but there's a God up there that loves us. He said, quote, I will be with you always, even until the end of the age, and he means it. And he will come to us. He will rescue us from certain storms. He didn't say that he would stop. By storms, I mean problems. And he didn't say that he would stop all the problems, but he said that he will be there with us to guide us through it. Yeah. 
And right now, there are some things in my life that even doctors can't explain what's going on with me. But there's a guy out there that loves me. That wants the best for me. My doctors aren't sure what's causing my threats. And aren't sure why they're so violent. But I'm going to, uh, hopefully I'll start, uh, sometime next month I might, uh, start, um, how should I put this? I might start, uh, some therapy for Tourette's. Hopefully next month. Yeah, and I pray that uh, that God can just use me to reach people in His name, not in my name, but in His. And listen, I know that I sinned against y'all. In fact, I'm gonna show y'all a sin I did recently. I bought this. This is Venom. Uh, Let there be carnage, and then they had the first Venom movie, and a bunch of people were like, "That's not sin." Well, yes, it is because it's against God. And what does it mean by against God? I mean that it doesn't support the Bible. It doesn't support God. It's just some, somewhere in the middle. And God says, I believe it's like Christians. Like he hates Christians that are just barely doing anything. That are just going to church every once in a while. And doing drugs and alcohol and marijuana and weed. He hates that. He hates that a lot. Yeah, so uh, I guess these longer, the longer videos for me not doing a video in a few days, but y'all might not notice. I don't know, these videos normally go out about a week ahead of time. Just so, uh, you know, I'm sorry if I did a Bible verse twice, but uh, my app was having a hard time loading and I went to, and I chose the Bible verse that somebody else shared. But if I did do the if I did do the Bible verse twice, I'm sorry. But uh, anyway, please keep me in your prayers about uh, my financial situation. And it, don't get me wrong, uh, it's not all bad. I mean, I'm able to afford things like uh, I'm able to pay my rent. I'm able to pay for equipment. Sometimes, you know, I'm able to pay for uh, you know, these headphones. And the reason why I like these headphones. Was because my little brother, he's sleeping in the room right next to me. And uh, I don't want him to hear me. So that's why I wear these headphones. Plus, uh, they got sometimes things, they got some adult things sometimes I like to watch that I don't want him to hear. And I'm not saying pornography. I'm not, I don't normally watch pornography. Have I done it? Probably. Well, I, let me take it back. I've done it before. But uh, it was always like a scene from a movie or a scene from a show, not uh, just straight up pornography. That I can remember. With my memory, my memory is bad. I'm going to be honest, my memory is bad. Yeah. And my little brother, bless his heart, he helps me out so much with the chores and the laundry. Like yesterday, we had a ton of chores, and I just couldn't help him. Because my threats was bad. But I pray that, uh, that God uses me to re to reach people in his name. Because if I could reach e somebody like my little brother, makes me want to cry because uh, he's been, done so much for me. Uh, let me tell you a little story. Whenever I was in the hospital, now I did ask, I asked my little brother to, uh, to draw me a picture twice. And he drew me a picture and he says, God loves you, we love you too. And he had a picture of uh, me, my family, and my dogs. And t to me, that just means the world. Hayden, if you're watching this, I love you, buddy. I want to cry just thinking about it because those were some dark times for me because that's whenever I went impatient. And I couldn't see them. I couldn't see my family like I wanted to see them, because well, you know they uh they were busy. And I'm not saying that they were busy putting things before me, 
But I'm saying that they were busy putting the important things before me. I, you know. But, uh. Let me tell y'all a story, then we'll end it right here. Okay, so whenever I was little, my, God told me in a dream he wanted me to be a pastor. Well, as the years went on, that memory was fading away. And I asked God two things, and I don't want me to say this, but what did God want me to be, wanted me to be, and, and uh, I wasn't sure if it would be a pastor or not, and if I said if it was a pastor, basically, then, uh, how did, like, did he want me to, uh, Go to church, like like go to college for it, or go or be elected by my church. And he said two things: one, he wanted me to be a pastor, and two, well, he told me he told a friend of mine these two things: he wanted me to be a pastor, and two, I should be ordained by my church. Now, God's house is kind of like my church to me. I mean, we might not physically have a building, but let me tell you something: we're reaching souls. We're spreading the gospel. Even if that's just one person per video, that's still one person. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, please keep me in your prayers. I'm not sure if I should buy a video game or if I should get the capture stuff or, uh, not capture stuff, uh, SSD stuff. Or what. But I am running out of storage. Eventually, I will run out. I think I'm going to run out by the sometime by the middle to the end of this month. Especially if these videos keep on going long like this one. But I just love doing them. I don't know why. I just I, maybe I maybe it's just me. Maybe I just like to spread the gospel, or maybe it's because I like to admit things. And these are my uh, this is my uh, the time to admit things. For those of you who don't know, I have the red syndrome, and with my mental state of mind, uh, as it was, uh, with my mental state of mind, it was bad, uh, yesterday. I had Tourette's episodes, I had a bunch of Tourette's episodes, but thankfully my therapist was there, and, uh, And he was able to uh help me. And he's and he didn't put me back in the hospital. I thought for sure I was going back in the hospital. But every it seems like every time I see a doctor now I think about that. But please give me your prayers for that for seeing the doctors. Because 'Cause I'm seeing a, a neurologist, a psychologist, and a uh I'm going to be seeing a regular doctor, plus I see, uh, what do they call, uh, I forgot what it's called, but they work with the, they work with the psychiatrist. Okay, so I, I, I call them, uh, sometimes I call them caseworkers, but I know that they're not, uh, really called that. I, I don't know what they call The doctor told me last time and I forgot. Also, uh, we do, uh, I want to start doing gameplay videos again, which if I uh, buy that expensive graphics card, I won't be able to... And I, I can't call them graphics card, SSDs. I won't be able to do that. Uh, and uh, I think I might go with the cheaper option. I don't know. But please give me your prayers. Just please give me your prayers. Also, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, so I don't know what else to talk about, uh, I might end it right here, folks. It's just, I feel that like I should talk more, but I don't know what to talk about. Yeah, oh, uh, also, if y'all want to help out with the financial situation, y'all can donate on Patreon. I know I'm going to say this in the outro because the outro is pre-recorded. Which means that I recorded earlier and I put it in all of my videos. But yeah, we're going on for about 15 minutes. I think we should stop right here. Anyway, bye guys. Hey guys, if y'all like this video and y'all want to share the word of God, y'all can like and subscribe and comment. 
And if y'all want to donate some money, we have a Patreon page. And the Patreon stuff starts at $3 a month, and it goes up to $25. And the reason why we do it monthly is because that gives us an idea of what we're going to be able to make, like, for the next month. Anyway, bye, guys.